Day 172, Psalms 84 through 86. Prayer that the Lord will restore favor to the Lamb. 84. The blessedness of dwelling in the house of God. 85. Prayer that the Lord will restore favor to the Lamb. 86. Prayer for mercy and meditation on the excellencies of the Lord. Each psalm you read today contains a heartfelt petition to God. Satisfy us again. Revive us again. Hear us again. Gather us again. Encourage us again. Make us to sing again. And each psalm concludes with a benediction of confidence that God will do precisely that in response to the prayers of his people. For the chief musician on an instrument of Gath, a psalm by the sons of Korah. How lovely are your dwellings, Yahweh of hosts! My soul longs and even faints for the courts of Yahweh, my heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. Yes, the sparrow has found a home, and the swallow a nest for herself, where she may have her young. Near your altars, Yahweh of hosts, my King and my God. Blessed are those who dwell in your house. They are always praising you. Blessed are those whose strength is in you, who have set their hearts on a pilgrimage. Passing through the valley of weeping, they make it a place of springs. Yes, the autumn rain covers it with blessings. They go from strength to strength. Every one of them appears before God in Zion. Yahweh, God of hosts, hear my prayer. Listen, God of Jacob. Behold, God, our shield. Look at the face of your anointed. For a day in your courts is better than a thousand. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. For Yahweh, God, is a sun and a shield. Yahweh will give grace and glory. He withholds no good thing from those who walk blamelessly. Yahweh of hosts, blessed is the man who trusts in you. Psalm 85 For the chief musician, a psalm by the sons of Korah. Yahweh, you have been favorable to your land. You have restored the fortunes of Jacob. You have forgiven the iniquity of your people. You have covered all their sin. You have taken away all your wrath. You have turned from the fierceness of your anger. Turn us, God of our salvation, and cause your indignation toward us to cease. Will you be angry with us forever? Will you draw out your anger to all generations? Won't you revive us again, that your people may rejoice in you? Show us your loving kindness, Yahweh. Grant us your salvation. I will hear what God, Yahweh, will speak for he will speak peace to his people, his saints. But let them not turn again to folly. Surely his salvation is near those who fear him, that glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth meet together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth springs out of the earth. Righteousness has looked down from heaven. Yes, Yahweh will give that which is good. Our land will yield its increase. Righteousness goes before him and prepares the way for his steps. Psalm 86, a prayer by David. Hear, Yahweh, and answer me, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my soul, for I am godly. You, my God, save your servant who trusts in you. Be merciful to me, Lord, for I call to you all day long. Bring joy to the soul of your servant, for to you, Lord, do I lift up my soul. For you, Lord, are good and ready to forgive abundant in loving kindness to all those who call on you. Hear, Yahweh, my prayer. Listen to the voice of my petitions. In the day of my trouble I will call on you, for you will answer me. There is no one like you among the gods, Lord, nor any deeds like your deeds. All nations you have made will come and worship before you. Lord, they shall glorify your name. For you are great and do wondrous things. You are God alone. Teach me your way, Yahweh. I will walk in your truth. 
Make my heart undivided to fear your name. I will praise you, Lord my God, with my whole heart. I will glorify your name forevermore. For your loving kindness is great toward me. You have delivered my soul from the lowest Sheol. God, the proud have risen up against me. A company of violent men have sought after my soul, and they don't hold regard for you before them. But you, Lord, are a merciful and gracious God, slow to anger and abundant in loving kindness and truth. Turn to me and have mercy on me. Give your strength to your servant. Save the son of your handmaid. Show me a sign of your goodness, that those who hate me may see it and be put to shame, because you, Yahweh, have helped me and comforted me.